Thank you for accessing this webinar. You have been referred into the Dietetic-Led Celiac Clinic for dietary advice in relation to a gluten-free diet. We hope this will give you a sound understanding of the diet prior to your telephone appointment with us. This webinar will cover a variety of topics, including what is celiac disease, symptoms of celiac disease, the treatment for the disease, what is gluten, where to find gluten-free foods, how to read food labels, helpful tips to get you started once you're diagnosed and what to expect from your dietetic care. So what is celiac disease? Celiac disease is a serious illness where the body's immune system attacks its own tissues when you eat gluten. This causes damage to the lining of the small intestine and means that the body can't properly absorb nutrients from food. Tiny finger-like projections called villi cover the lining of the small intestine and they become flattened, leaving less surface area to absorb nutrients. When gluten is removed from the diet, these villi are able to recover and take on their normal function. Celiac disease is not an allergy or food intolerance. It is very common and affects 1 in 100 people in the UK. There are multiple symptoms of celiac disease, including weight loss or failure to thrive, anemia, bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhoea, headaches or issues with fertility. Undiagnosed or uncontrolled celiac disease can cause or worsen these symptoms. There's no cure for celiac disease, but following a gluten-free diet will help to control symptoms, improve villus atrophy, and prevent the long-term complications of the condition. Villus atrophy is the medical term used to describe damage to the villi in your small intestine. Even if you have no or very mild symptoms, a strict gluten-free diet is essential because continuing to eat gluten can lead to serious complications. It is important to ensure that your gluten-free diet is varied, healthy and balanced. An increase in the range of available gluten-free foods in recent years has made it possible to achieve this. After diagnosis, it is important to follow a gluten-free diet at all times. Once you begin a gluten-free diet, the gut starts to repair immediately. Many people feel much better within weeks of starting the diet, though some symptoms may take longer to resolve. It can take between six months and two years for complete recovery of the gut. What is gluten? Celiac disease is caused by an adverse reaction to gluten, which is a dietary protein found in three types of cereal called wheat, barley and rye. Any foods containing wheat, barley and rye and ingredients derived from them need to be avoided and replaced with suitable alternatives. The gluten-free diet consists of three main food categories. Foods that are naturally gluten-free, such as fruits and vegetables, plain nuts and seeds, dairy products, polenta, quinoa, millet and corn, pulses, rice and potatoes, and unprocessed meats and fish. The second category are gluten-free substitute products. Prescribable products are those that are special gluten-free foods that can replace those that naturally contain gluten. Once you are diagnosed with celiac disease, you may be entitled to receive basic products such as bread and flour mixes on prescription from your GP. Over-the-counter and supermarket products, you'll find that most supermarkets have a free-from aisle where you will find foods that are suitable for people with a variety of different food intolerances. Remember to take care though, as not all foods in this section are gluten-free. Gluten-free foods will also be available elsewhere in the supermarket among the different sections. Health food shops often sell specialist gluten-free foods and many products can now be purchased via the internet or mail order. You can refer to Celiac UK for useful tips and advice. The third group are gluten-free manufactured and processed foods. 
Many manufactured foods will contain gluten, so make sure you check the product ingredients on the food label carefully. These foods include obvious sources of wheat, rye and barley. For example, bread, most breakfast cereals, cakes and biscuits. However, gluten can be found in a number of foods where you may not expect to find it. For example, beer, sausages, soups, seasonings and sauces. The Celiac UK Food and Drink Directory, available printed and electronically, contains a list of manufactured products that are suitable for those following a gluten-free diet. This directory is available as part of your membership pack if you join Celiac UK. Reading food labels. All patients with celiac disease can eat food labelled gluten-free. The key to having a completely gluten-free diet is being a good label reader. Food manufacturers have to legally comply with guidelines on gluten-free labelling. Foods labelled gluten-free have a gluten level of less than 20 parts per million. Foods with this labelling are naturally gluten-free or specialist products. Very low gluten is a term used more commonly in Europe and details food of a gluten level between 20 and 100 parts per million. All patients with celiac disease can eat foods labelled gluten-free. Most patients with celiac disease can also eat food labelled as very low gluten. If you are still experiencing symptoms or your antibodies, which we will monitor via blood tests, remain high, then you may need to exclude very low gluten foods in addition. This will be discussed in your appointment with the dietitian. All cereals containing gluten must now be clearly visible, so wheat, rye and barley will be highlighted on labels. Take care to look for these cereal names rather than the word gluten, which may not always be included. In December 2014, allergen labelling laws changed. Allergen boxes have now been removed from packaging. Instead, 14 allergens must be highlighted on the ingredients list. Celiac UK's cross-grain symbol also indicates that a food is gluten-free when it is visible on packaging. Further information on the allergen labelling laws can be obtained from the Food Standards Agency or Celiac UK. Codex Alimentarius is a series of international standards for food and agricultural products. They help ensure consumer protection internationally. The majority of people with celiac disease can tolerate Codex wheat starch. It is a specially manufactured wheat starch which is washed, so the level of gluten is 20 parts per million or less. It improves the taste and texture of gluten-free foods. Foods containing Codex wheat starch will be labelled as containing wheat on the food label, so be careful of this. Barley malt extract can be eaten in small amounts as part of a gluten-free diet. It is a flavouring that is added in small amounts to breakfast cereals and chocolates. Foods that contain barley malt extract will be labelled as containing barley and you will not be able to ascertain from the ingredients list how much barley was used. If you see barley malt extract listed in a product that is not labelled as gluten-free or not listed as suitable by Celiac UK, then you will need to contact the Celiac UK helpline or the manufacturer directly for more information. Barley malt vinegar is produced from barley. The process involves removing the barley protein and therefore gluten, making it suitable for people with celiac disease. Gluten-free oats are tolerated by most people with celiac disease. Oats that are labelled as gluten-free can be eaten. A small number of people can still be sensitive to gluten-free oats. This will be checked by your dietitian. Oats contain a protein called avenine, which is similar to gluten. Oats not labelled as gluten-free should be avoided, as they are likely to have been contaminated with gluten in the manufacturing process. What about the food label stating may contain? If there is a chance that a food may have been contaminated with wheat, barley or rye, then the label may also state, may contain traces of gluten, made on a line handling wheat, made in a factory also handling wheat, or not suitable for people with celiac disease due to manufacturing methods. 
When you see one of these statements on a product, the manufacturer has decided that there is a risk that the product could be contaminated with gluten. If the product is not listed in the Celiac UK Food and Drink Directory, you can also contact the manufacturer directly. Most people usually eat these foods, but if symptoms remain or antibodies remain high, then these foods should be excluded from your diet. The next slides detail some food checklists. You can see that they have been split into foods which are gluten free, foods that you would need to check and those that are not gluten free. These checklists can help you to make a start when following a gluten free diet. For the foods listed in the need to check section, you will need to check the label carefully or consult your Celiac UK food and drink directory to see if the one that you have selected is gluten free. Tips to get started once diagnosed. Learn which foods are naturally gluten free. All types of rice, potato, corn, plain meat, fish, eggs, cheese, milk, most yogurts, fruit, vegetables and pulses are naturally gluten free and suitable for the diet. Access the available help and support. Celiac UK is a charity working for people with celiac disease and dermatitis herpetiformis. It is recommended that you become a member of this organisation. If you become a member, you will also have access to the members section of their website, receive copies of their quarterly magazine containing information on recipes, new products and health, and details of local group membership. You can join Celiac UK online at www.celiac.org.uk or contact them on their helpline number if you do not have access to the internet. This number is 0333 332 2033. Celiac UK's website has useful resources including information about a gluten free diet, local groups, volunteer opportunities and their ongoing campaigns. They also have two apps called Gluten Free On The Move and the Gluten Free Food Checker. These can both be downloaded to help you with your gluten free diet. Some parts of the app can only be accessible if you are a member of Celiac UK. Talk to your GP about getting products on prescription. Depending on where you live in the UK, people with celiac disease can get gluten-free staple food on prescription. This is usually bread and flour mixes. There are hundreds of products available from a number of manufacturers. Try and as many products as possible as they all vary in taste, texture and palatability. Talk to other people with celiac disease. Celiac UK has over 60 local groups across the UK and they are an invaluable source of support and many organised meetings, cooking and baking demonstrations, coffee mornings, evenings out and fun events to help raise awareness of celiac disease. At the minute, these events may be virtually, but it would still be useful to get involved. Check out your local supermarket and the internet for gluten-free products. 
Many supermarkets now stock a range of specialist gluten-free foods and the range of available products has massively increased over the last few years. Some of the supermarkets will also produce lists of foods that you can eat on their website or you can ask for this list in store. Availability of gluten-free foods may vary between shops, so you may have to visit more than one shop to get a good idea of what is out there. Products may be kept in a specialist free from aisle, placed among other foods, or sometimes even both, so allow yourself some time to investigate. Avoid cross-contamination. Gluten-free foods can be contaminated with gluten around the home and in workplaces if they come into contact with gluten-containing foods. To avoid this, use a separate toaster or toaster bags. Use separate chopping boards or ensure that the same chopping board is cleaned very well after every use. Have a separate butter or jam or ensure that clean knives or spoons are used each time. Use separate oil for frying breaded or battered foods and cook gluten containing foods in a separate pan and use different utensils when serving the food. Research places to eat out. You can still eat out with friends and family on a gluten free diet, you just may need to plan ahead. Current law means that all food establishments must be able to supply details of the 14 allergens within the dishes on their menu. These include wheat, barley and rye. Some restaurants have been accredited by Celiac UK and will use the following symbol on their menus. But try to speak to the restaurant or catering establishment in advance to explain your requirements and see if they offer gluten-free options. It can be helpful to highlight foods that are naturally gluten-free and therefore suitable to eat. You may also wish to give advice on examples that are not safe that they may not have considered, for example stock cubes, and emphasise the importance of avoiding cross-contamination. As I said, some restaurants may have been accredited by Celiac UK and will use this symbol on menus and in windows. Catering establishments that use this symbol may use it in the window or on their menus. It means that the gluten-free menu choices available meet all the requirements for the gluten-free standard. For further information on this scheme and accredited restaurants in your area, visit the Celiac UK website and ensure that you discuss your diet with families and friends so that they are prepared for when you visit. So, what can you expect from us? You will receive an appointment from us in our dietetic-led celiac clinic where you will be reviewed by a dietitian. In the initial appointment, we will assess your understanding of the gluten-free diet as well as checking your weight and current symptoms. Your diet will be checked in detail, aiding you in identifying any evidence of gluten that you may not be aware of. We will also check your diet is adequate in the nutrients that you may be deficient in as a consequence of having celiac disease. You will be provided with literature on a gluten-free diet. Your initial DEXA scan will be requested if this has not already been done by your consultant. This is a scan where your bone mineral density is checked. If it is normal, then a repeat scan will not be required. If there are any concerns, then this scan will be repeated three yearly. We will also provide you with a blood form so we can check your antibody levels as well as some essential nutrients, including vitamin D. In your follow-up appointment, we will review your blood results and DEXA scan advising you and your GP if any supplements are required. You will then be followed up yearly. This may be in a booked telephone clinic or via letter if there are no concerns with your blood results or diet. We are aware that this is a lot to learn and get your head around at first, but we're here for you every step of the way to get you living well gluten free. Here are the details of the dietetics department here at UHCW NHS Trust. If you have any questions about this webinar, then please either telephone us or email us on the following address. Thank you for listening and we cannot wait to meet you in our clinic appointment soon. Take care.